Welcome to the Moto G9 Plus review. My name is Argenis Polo and I am a multimedia productions student. The Moto G9 Plus is the most powerful of the Moto G9 generation and the successor to the Moto G8 Plus. Let's start by saying the Moto G9 Plus comes from the factory with the Android 10 operating system. It has a dual SIM phone. It has a CC80 1H4 HD plus screen. That is a very large phone, something that users will like or will dislike others. The screen looks very good and has very good color calibration with an acceptable brightness. It has a fingerprint reader located on the right side, different from the location of the fingerprint reader of the old Moto GA Plus. It has the Snapdragon 730G processor and 4GB of RAM, a processor that works very well and with a special optimization for video games, but the RAM memory does not involve with respect to the Moto GA Plus. However, it offers good performance. The Moto G9 Plus has 128GB of storage, much more than its predecessor, the Moto GA Plus with 64GB. In addition to the internal memory, we can expand the storage through a micro SD. The mobile has a very good autonomy, since it has a very generous battery of 5000 mAh and a fast charge of 30 watts, which represents a great leap compared to the previous generation that had 4000 mAh and a maximum charge of 15 watts. One disadvantage of having a large battery is that the phone feels much heavier than its predecessor. The Moto G A Plus weighs 188 grams, while the Moto G9 Plus weighs 233. Although it seems a little different, the truth is that it, it does come to be not decided when will last a long time with the cell phone in hand. Regarding photography, the Moto G9 Plus has a quad camera with a 64 megapixel main lens and three other lenses of 8 megapixel, 2 megapixels, and 2 megapixels, respectively. The photography result that we can achieve is relatively good in well lit areas, although in night since they are not so good, but they are acceptable. Here we will show a brief comparison. The selfie camera is 16 megapixels. As for video recording, the rear camera has the ability to record in 4K format at 30 frames or in 1000A at 60 frames. And finally, we will talk about the audio. The Moto G9 Plus has only one speaker, unlike the Moto G8 Plus, which has two speakers, that is a stereo audio. We see this as disadvantage of the Moto G9 Plus, however, the sound quality is good and the, the volume too. In conclusion, the Moto G9 Plus is a good mobile, efficient for everyday tasks such as social, the internet and social networks, efficient to play video games with medium requirements, it has acceptable photographic quality, and it has great autonomy thanks to its large battery.